got the winter blahs? Never fear, Prime Plus Norfolk Senior Center is here with a full calendar of events and programs. Executive Director Lynn Berg and Geriatrics Case Manager Kim Labidi are here to fill us in on a whole season uh, full of things to do and things that will make you better than you ever thought you could be. You bet. How's that? That for sounds a promotion? really good. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. And I um, am really glad to have the opportunity to visit with you today. There's so much happening. Yeah. You're right. It is a tough time of year. And not only is the weather blah, but we also have the, what notoriously is known as tax season, right? So, the tax season blah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. And you do have a, a connection in that regard to that's right. tax preparation we were just talking about. Right. We do. And um, we have, as Prime Plus has tried to bring partnering um, with agencies bringing folks into our organization to do services for folks. The tax aid program that's provided by AARP is one of those. And we are very fortunate to have a wonderful crew of their volunteers, which we host. We supply them with space. We give them access to the phone and the Internet. We help them with reception, and they do take appointments. And then they meet with people all during these days in order to help them get their taxes done at no cost. And not only are they fabulous people, but we see such big smiles and so much appreciation from the community when their people are leaving and they've gotten that done. Yes, that sense of relief yes that comes with having completed something that can be sometimes daunting yeah. or can create a bit of anxiety in people because they want to make sure it's being done correctly. You're right. And then it, it's also something that hangs over us because of the deadlines. Yes. So because of that, it's even more um, wonderful to be able to offer appointments at our site. And that helps people know that they will get in and they are going to be seen. Yeah. So that's well, good. good. The, the piece I'd like to share with you is that last year they did approximately 1,600 uh, tax returns at our facility. Wow and uh, brought about $1.5 million in rebates back into this community through the tax preparations. With rebates, uh, it's a wonderful for everyone. Yes. It adds to the economy. So it see? definitely does. There we are. So everybody's yes. happy. That's it. Well, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was going to be. <laughs> Not everybody, but yeah, most, well, most yeah. people are. Sometimes, you know, you find out you have to pay, but right. better to know then than to find out later and make it a bad surprise. So. Right. Yeah. No one wants to pay a penalty. Nobody wants yeah. to pay a penalty. And then speaking of not paying penalties, if you get in charge of your life, there are a lot of payoffs that you can receive from, exactly. uh, from doing so. And, and Prime Plus offers a multitude of, of programs and activities and things to do there. Just really neat. And Lynn, I know what you could start anywhere, but I know you've got an event coming up that uh, yes, we is do. Uh, an annual event that's become bigger and bigger every year. Yes, it has. Um, we are talking about the Men Who Cook two-man amateur chef team competition. This is our signature fundraiser that we do annually. This will be our fifth one. And what we are um, doing is letting the public know that the tickets are available for sale. You can go on our website or you can come by the office and, or you can even talk to one of the board members or myself to get tickets. But it's March 29th. It's from 6 until... Mm, mm -hmm. question yeah, we mark. just put at 6 p.m. <laughs> yes. on, on our full screen. Uh, you know, information board there so people well it's it's great and um, that we're having people want to linger longer so we've we've not put an end time mm -hmm. and then uh, this year Becky Livis is going to be with us as our musical entertainment so that's a fabulous oh, Becky's fun and we'll have a wonderful silent auction uh, mm -hmm. last year's was the first time ever very successful and all of these things help us to offer programs that help keep seniors out of nursing homes active and connected to their communities taking good care of themselves and doing it in an environment that's special just for them. Okay, well that's perfect. And and Kim, you know, one of the things about people taking care of themselves, of course, the whole issue of wellness, and I wouldn't even say issue, but the whole idea of it um, is, you know, has certainly uh, grown over time. People didn't know what wellness was. It was right. always about the opposite, mm -hmm. being ill now. It's like, how do you remain and maintain your health and, and keep on going and being as active and fulfilled as possible um, throughout your life. This is true. So as a geriatrics care manager, you are dealing with people and issues that come along um, and you offer ways to, for people to surmount them. Yes, we try and uh, we are seeing that um, 
a lot of individuals are starting to look forward uh, to planning and so that kind of forward thinking that you're talking about focusing on wellness rather than waiting until a crisis strikes right. can be very very helpful to the family member and to the individual who may need some additional support um, making sure that care preferences can be honored and that decisions can be made in a way that avoids kind of feeling like your back is against the wall. So sometimes being proactive and doing the research now, understanding what options would be available, what makes sense for your budget, your lifestyle, your interests, making sure certain pieces are in place that when the time comes and there may be some sort of event that happens and changes the person's status, that they can make the transition um, in a way that preserves that wellness and the highest level of functioning mm -hmm. and so we focus a lot of our efforts towards helping families in that way and then on the senior end we focus to help individuals understand ways to keep themselves healthy and strong through different activities and nutrition um, and so we'll be also launching some educational initiatives in the coming months that help seniors to stay well and and to kind of take that proactive stance for their life so well, we'll get into yeah. maybe what some of those are in a moment the whole idea of it to really start talking about these things instead of yep. having them happen to you yes. um, but but talking about them makes people more aware self-aware right. yep. and situationally aware because you've got others who may be also thinking the same way so that really changes kind of the whole perspective of how we look at growing older yeah, and, and a sense of empowerment and being able to understand what options are available but also mm -hmm. to know that they can be honored with a little bit of thought mm -hmm. um, and so just really a, a lot of times people don't realize how many options are available to them how many different services are available and what choices they may have and just understanding the community and, and the the range of services can help them to feel better about when that time mm -hmm. comes there's a picture of some folks um, they're, ex they're well they look like they're cheerleading but they're exercising yes. uh, in this room and I don't know if we have the one of the folks dancing as well which um, is and, and dancing happens oh, on look, Tuesday that picture's right on the cover but here's of her. the, that was the cover shot of our new prime time ah. which comes out bi-monthly and this is for the February and March time frame um, some of our other partners that I'd like to share with everyone is that uh, Walgreens is coming in and doing a uh, clinic with us for shingles on March 10th and then we also have uh, Sterling Financial coming in and they're offering to do appointments to help people with long-term planning and other things so um, those kinds of partnerships help us to bring information to seniors so that they are able to function well make good decisions take care of their interests and also to feel good about themselves okay. and be with their friends and um, that being said, I want to share this with you. This is for you. This is um, a, the Prime Plus new um, promotion piece, just to help people remember who we are. It says, for mature audiences mm -hmm. only, yeah. and that's who our membership consists <laughs> of, people age 50 and up. Ah. And not only do we have um, those individuals who are active and engaged, like you and I and, and others, but we also take care of folks who need a little supervision or some help in our adult daycare program. Okay. And so those individuals who stay with us during the day allows their families to work and to maintain the quality of their life, but keep their family together. Mm -hmm. Well, it um, helps you plan and it helps you stay organized and in control of your mm -hmm. That's right. of a changing situation. Exactly. Which is, um, you know, because things just don't always remain the same. Yes, right. and, and, and so thank uh, you, Lynn. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah. Looks very nice. Oh, thank you. Um, the <laughs> other thing I'd like to mention is our nutrition program has really grown in the, over the last year. And I, I think um, we've talked in the past about we have a, a chef who yes. does the home-cooked meals in-house Monday through Friday. And we have seen an increase of almost 13% in our meals. And we're almost up to 15,000 meals being served each year wow. from our site. And um, in talking with the food bank, they're also indicating that there are more elderly people now in food lines than ever before. She hasn't ever seen this number. And so uh, knowing that people who are in a fixed or low income time of life and struggling to make ends meet and they're also um, concerned about having enough to eat has really made this program even um, higher in demand. Okay. 
And these meals that you provide can mm -hmm. be home meals or at congregate? Do you do congregate? We are the congregate meal um, provider. So okay. you would come in and have a meal with us. Good. And our Good. goal there is to make sure that everyone not only uh, comes in and has access to the meal, but they also learn about other things that are happening. And perhaps there are other ways that they can be helped in the community yeah. to maintain their independence. And this, the whole socialization aspect, of course, is huge. Um, and it's the one way people can still stay up on things that are happening, stay right. involved in what's going on in the present, and being able to plan for the future. So um, thank you for sharing good information. Yes. There is so much that's going on there. So give them a call, and they can fill you in on wellness and all sorts of events, including men who cook. Yes. Yes. Well, Golden Paws, if you may recall, is a... Uh, uh, program that we mentioned in one of our most recent shows and we had an interview with the wonderful folks at the Norfolk Animal Care Center and they shared two of their wards with an applehead chihuahua named Snowbob and Marty a Russian blue well we're happy to say that both now have loving permanent homes Snowbob was adopted by a former volunteer and Marty well see for yourself this handsome senior feline is now happily and permanently situated with his senior companion. It's a win-win for both, and the Animal Care Center's Golden Paws program offers a discounted fee to humans who adopt senior animals and no-cost adoptions to seniors adopting seniors. So if you're interested in learning more about the Golden Paws program, call 441-5505 or check them out online at norfolk.gov. Sorry, that looks a little strange. Uh, slash NACC, that stands for Norfolk Animal Care Center. And perhaps you too can find the pet of your dreams and the pet can find the human of his or hers. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Bye.